Hey guys, this is Nefarious411, and welcome to episode 27 of The New Frontier. These turrets that I created in the last episode have been working out so well. <laughs> it is actually really nice. Um, the only issue that I have really is, um, they're kind of loud. <laughs> I'm sitting in my base, I will know that it's nighttime because all of a sudden I'll hear BOOM! <laughs> over and over and over. It's kind of funny. Um, I did replace the, uh, the laser turret here with a uh, railgun because I was getting a lot of mobs up here and um, it was kind of annoying because the uh, the laser turret it was only doing like one heart of damage. Really wasn't that much. So I went ahead and uh, replaced that and that's been working out really well. I haven't even checked to uh, see if the other turrets are lacking ammo or anything. Oh, I know that this one's lacking a uh, solar panel. I forgot to replace that. I think I created a solar panel down here. Uh, let's just take a look. Solar. Got a uh, solar panel four. That might be sufficient just for now. There we go. Give you some power. Nice. Yeah, it does look like I'm going to have to uh, replenish at some point soon some of the uh, the ferromagnetic slugs. Yeah, doing pretty well on that one. Just have to uh, make sure that I sleep. I guess they will be a good indicator that it's nighttime. I know that I have a, a clock in my inventory, but sometimes I don't pay attention whenever I'm like down here. Um, one thing that I did, I went ahead and uh, connected uh, some of these power cells up. Uh, probably need an access door here, but uh, basically my power coming in for my solar array is coming down here to the input of the uh, power cell. Um, each one of these is just feeding into the next, um, and then I'm able to output. Then I can at least see um, in and out. Looks like it's uh, still getting as much power coming in as I'm using, which is good. So if I ever see um, this particular power cell uh, decreasing quite a bit, I know that my power consumption is more than um, my production. So let's uh, go ahead and close that off for now. Today, I would like to uh, start looking at a different mod, and this is the uh, the calculator mod. Um, this was added in uh, one of the recent updates in this uh, mod pack. Um, calculator basically introduces um, different um, crafting mechanic. Um, it adds these handheld calculators down here. Um, things can be combined together um, so that you can uh, get new items. Um, sort of like uh, one of those equivalent mods, equivalents, uh, basically converting things like iron into ender pearls, things like that. Um, and it also has other things like uh, storing energy and teleportation. Um, it has all of these different types of weapons and tools. Like this one does 20 hearts of damage. Is that right? 20? Um, I currently have 13.45, so I might actually take a look at what it would take to create one of these end forge swords. Six and a half, seven. That one's not too bad. And um, if you were to uh, put enchantments, I don't know if you can enchant these, but if you can uh, enchant that, that could be a lot of damage. That might be kind of nice. But uh, in order to uh, get started in this, we kind of need to create some... Well, let's go ahead and create this guy, which is the info calculator. And this is basically the, uh, the book to the mod. So let's go ahead and jump up here. And uh, let's go ahead and create this guy. And that's just going to require some buttons. Um, honestly, I probably need to uh, create a recipe for button. So uh, let's go ahead and grab some stone. Let's go ahead and create a button recipe for this guy. Yeah, let me keep all my solar panel stuff together. Let's find an empty slot. Eh, that'll work. Alright, so I am going to use a lot of buttons. So this is calculator. Um, 
info. There we go. And that is going to be fairly easy. I don't know how many things I'll need screens for. Uh, it doesn't look like too many things. Dynamic. Yeah. I might not create a recipe for that. I might just uh, do it on the fly whenever I need it. Because I was trying to determine whether or not I would do that. Let me just create a few of these. Don't know how many of those I'm going to need. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple of buttons. Uh, let's go ahead and create a stack. Because this calculator mod is going to use a lot of buttons. And here we go. So um, let me clear that by searching for something that doesn't exist. <laughs> there we go. Um, and as you can see that this is a um, a guide for all of the other uh, different items like uh, what they can be used for. Looks like there's a uh, grenade, sickles, wrenches, atomic multiplier, stuff like that. So that is kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get into some of the other uh, calculators. So calculator and calculators. Uh, looks like the, uh, the basic one. There's a crafting calculator, scientific calculator, but this is just a calculator. Reinforced stone? Do I have reinforced stone? Which one was that? Scientific? What is reinforced stone? Looks like cobblestone and planks will give you reinforced stone. That's interesting. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can create some of this. Enriched gold. Looks like we need this enriched iron, which looks like we need a calculator for. And that looks like this one right here. So let's go ahead and create this guy. So we need a calculator assembly. There we go. We've got eight of those. And that might be as much as I need. Nice. So here's my calculator. Not enough energy. Um, I should be able to uh, pop this guy right in here. And it stores, looks like a thousand RF. There we go. And now I have a calculator. Nice. Does that drain? It doesn't drain whenever you're looking at it. I think it uh, drains on a per operation basis. So let's uh, take a look at this. If I wanted enriched gold, that doesn't look gold. It's kind of uh, <laughs> weird looking. Uh, looks like I need a gold ingot and some redstone. So if I were to grab a half a stack of these guys, looks like doing an addition of redstone plus gold gives you enriched gold. And this looks like it'll give me a couple of stacks, which is kind of cool. And how much RF did that take? Eh, not, not a lot. That's good. All right, so now we just need to smelt this stuff. Let's go ahead and smelt this. Throw this enriched gold in here. Nice. And see if we can uh, create the scientific calculator. Because if I take a look at the uh, scientific calculator, looks like this one does division. So a calculator does addition. So here's some of the other recipes for that. So if I have a reinforced sword and a reinforced pickaxe, adding those together gives me a wrench. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, looks like I can get iron, reinforced iron ingots. Not sure what that can be used for. Looks like some of the other reinforced tools. Um, oops, I went way too far. There we go. Um, enriched coal. What is that? Prune seeds? Interesting. Huh, different lanterns. I might uh, look at the lanterns. Um, but I uh, kind of want to get up to this uh, flawless calculator because if you uh, take a look at the, uh, the flawless calculator, this one actually has quite a few recipes because this is adding, dividing, and adding, which is interesting. Um, 
It looks like I can get emeralds and diamonds, and I can even get a diamond sapling. That sounds pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and split that back. Is this actually done with uh, all of the other stuff? Doesn't look like it. All right, cool. Um, so let's see. I was on scientific calculator. There we go, scientific calculator. I'll need some energy for this guy. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Might as well throw this in there too. Cool. And this one does the uh, division stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the recipes for scientific calculator. See if there's anything that we could use right now. Um, we can diamonds. Amethyst. Ooh, an amethyst sapling. That sounds kind of cool. Doesn't look like we can uh, create a single amethyst yet. Um, not until we get a stone separator. Interesting. Uh, so if we wanted to work towards getting one of those uh, pickaxes, or maybe that sword, we need some end diamond. So we will need an atomic calculator and an analyzing chamber. So that is stuff that uh, we're going to be working towards. But uh, let's go ahead and get that flawless. Oh god, <laughs> it's nighttime. <laughs> flawless calculator. <laughs> there we go. Um, does look like we need some flawless diamonds. I'm not sure of any other way to uh, get those besides the atomic calculator. Well, what's the uh, recipe for an atomic calculator? Woo! Looks like a few things in here. Looks like I can create some of this. Um, flawless assembly, no. And create more of these guys. What are these? Wow. There's a lot of stuff going into this uh, recipe. Reinforced iron. That was iron and reinforced stone. Reinforce stone inside of a calculator, and I don't have iron on me. Oh, nice. So that uh, holds your ingredients too, which is very cool. Nice. Very cool. There we go. Um, chamber. What was that called? Extraction. Fabrication. Thought it was chamber. Um, calculator. Uh, flawless. Let's just look at that recipe again. Flawless diamond is going to require an atomic calculator. Alright, I may have to uh, wait until morning because that's going to get pretty old. Uh, let me just come over here real quick and see what's going on. <laughs> it is keeping my base safe. Probably should light the stuff up at some point, though. Come on, kill him. Nice. That is doing really, really well. It's full of power, full of ammo. Well, partially full of ammo. This one isn't killing any of the uh, the passive bombs, though. Because of the fact that I have my farm animals right there. Didn't want those guys to get destroyed. So any uh, zombie chickens or anything like that weren't getting killed. I may have to uh, have some more rail guns up here because every two seconds, that is a long wait between shots. But at least it's one-shotting most of these guys. But uh, let me uh, wait until morning, or until these guys um, kind of clear out, and uh, we'll continue uh, building on to the calculator stuff. All right, I was able to uh, sleep through the night, and it's just finishing up some of the other uh, mobs that are surrounding here. Looks like I have a lot of goodies to pick up. Nice. Hello, chickens. Thank you very much. And ender pearls. And that is one of the reasons. See? Look at this. There were mobs in my garden again. That is annoying. Just leave my sugar cane alone. I'm 
not even sure what he's shooting at now. Looks like there were some mobs over here since he's aiming that direction. Man, I should uh, create some of those um, remote, um, what is that called? Uh, remote something or no? Actually additions, one of these guys. Ranged collectors, if I had ranged collectors all over the place, man, I would have a lot of mob drops. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and get back in here. Um, get back to what we were doing. Put away some of this stuff real quick. Otherwise, we're gonna have inventory full. And sugar cane, keep that. All right, cool. All right, so what I was creating was that atomic calculator, which is this guy right here. And uh, atomic assembly, looks like I can create one of those guys. And uh, there we go. So I'm assuming this requires power, but I am not entirely sure. If I uh, take a look at this, it looks like uh, these atomic binders. I should probably create some recipes for these. I don't know. Um, let me just do this manually for now because I don't think I can uh, create this. Do I have the ability to create this? Looks like I can use an analyzing chamber. I don't really know what the analyzing chamber is. Um, electric crusher. Grinder, crusher. And it doesn't look like I have any other way. I guess I could use a stone separator, but I would have to have gold ore. I think there's it's only the, uh, the calculator that can do this, which means that this is a handheld recipe. I would have to do this manually. I don't think there's any other way to do that. I am not sure. Um, what was I creating with this? Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Diamond. Um, calculator. Uh, diamond. It's one of these guys, right? Flawless diamond, end diamond. End diamond might be fine. Ooh, end stone. Do I have the ability to create end stone in other ways? Ender pearls. I mean, I would like to get that scientific calculator. Or the, uh, the flawless calculator, I should say, because the uh, flawless calculator has the ability to use four iron ingots to create an ender pearl. And that's one of the reasons why I'm creating this uh, calculator stuff. There's some obs obsidian. In order to create that, I need the flawless diamonds and one end diamond. Okay, so flawless diamond is these atomic binders plus diamond. All right, so that is one, two, three, four. So four of those, which is a lot of diamonds. Diamonds I probably don't have. <laughs> All right, um, binder. See if I can create some of these. Oops, stack, sure. Does this require power? It does not, okay. Um, it does look like these stack in here, so let me go ahead and grab the four that I needed. Calculator flawless. All right, so that got those. I need the other uh, two diamonds. These guys. And what else did I need? One of these guys. Ooh. Ooh. Do I have any of that stuff? <laughs> All right. Doesn't look like I have any of that. So let's go ahead and craft some of these up. There we go. Looks like I need the emerald one, but I'm missing, oops, these guys, and an emerald. Really, I do not have any emeralds. Oh boy, um, well, here we go. Well, let's uh, take a trip. I think there was a village over here. 
Let's see if any of the villagers are still alive, <laughs> for one. Um, I am not sure if they're going to be alive or not. Oh, here we go. Fifteen void crystals for one emerald. Well, I only need one emerald. You stay there. I might do that because that's just 15 pieces of coal, right? 25 paper. That's a good deal. Let me uh, go grab paper. Let me just <laughs> use the uh, dimensional chain changer and uh, jump back and forth. There we go. That was a little bit faster travel. Let's go ahead and create some paper. Paper. Um, how many did he need? 25? Let's go ahead and grab 30. Let's go grab that one emerald that I need. I mean, once we create this uh, flawless calculator, um, we should be able to create emeralds. Oh, there's stuff down there. Um, hello, world. Render world. Um, why can't I fly? Um, I am flying? Or is that charging? That's charging. Um, let me figure out what's going on with my world real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, quick reload of my world. Made everybody happy. I wonder if it's because I jumped into the uh, mining dimension. There was some string. This guy was doing paper, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and trade some paper for a emerald. And that should be good. Come on. I don't want to travel to the other dimension again, just in case it does the same thing to me. Alright, so now that we have that emerald, we should be able to create this guy. Nice. And this guy. Almost. Minus some of those. Ah, oh, seriously. There we go. Cool. We are almost there. We're locking diamonds. <laughs> of course we are. Why wouldn't we? Oh, once I get this, I will have diamonds galore. All right, so I will need an electric diamond, which is going to be a fire diamond in a conductor mast. And what is a conductor or a fire diamond? All right, two diamonds and blaze rod. Oh, I know where my diamonds are. I left them in here. Oop. Right, so now I need a conductor mast. Conductor mast. Okay, I need an atomic calculator. Energy module. Power cube. Alright, so let's grab some furnaces. Furni. A <laughs> um, couple of those, I think. Yep. And some purified coal, which is going to be enriched coal, which is going to be coal and redstone. Coal and redstone in a calculator. We'll create the stuff. Sure, why not? Um, conductor mast. What was the rest? Purified. So that's enriched coal, which is what I have. Enriched gold. Gold. There we go. Um, scientific, maybe? Yay. All right. Should probably put some more of those enriched gold inside of a furnace somewhere. Um, Crusher Furnace. How about you? Do that for a little bit. Alright. Cool. Alright, so I got two power cubes. Um, conductor Mast. I need a scientific calculator of the power cube and the purified gold. Or whatever. Scientific. These guys. Purified coal. Energy modules. Alright. 
energy modules. There's a lot of <laughs> a lot of things going on with a fire diamond. Creates a conductor mast. All right, yeah. And I think this is going to have some ramifications in regards to RF. So lightning could strike here. I think. I love maths. All right. So we just have to wait for lightning to strike. Is that seriously what we're having to do here? Um, fire diamond inside of here. Yeah, looks like I need a fire diamond again. So more blaze rods and diamonds. There you go. Let's go ahead and put this guy in here. Ooh, 50 seconds. 50 seconds? Let's see if I can sleep through the night before that happens. Because I don't want it to be dark whenever lightning strikes. Apparently it's able to uh, detect when lightning's going to strike, which is really cool. That's better than most uh, weathermen, meteorologists. All right, 30 seconds to go, and this will conduct electricity. And I think this is also good for a uh, power source. I might look into this as a uh, possible power source. I might make that like this entire field over here just different natural power sources. That would be kind of cool. 20 seconds. Oh, hello. Do not hit me with one of those. Those look dangerous. Shoot them! So much for pinpoint accuracy. Unless he has a lot of life. Might have a lot of health. Okay. Oh, did you see the lightning? I saw the lightning. Uh, it is producing 10 kilo RF. Oh, nice. That was cool. So it's holding 10,000 RF. So I have my electric diamond now, which is very cool. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And that... What was I doing with it? Um, calculator, flawless. Yeah, there are so many recipes that I'm having to go through here. And this is for the end diamond. So I got one of those guys, obsidian and an end stone. Um, yeah, I can do that. Obsidian, because of the fact that we're going to have an unlimited number of ender pearls coming up, let me just go ahead and grab one of these in stone. Ooh, ender pearl. Speaking of which, um, you just go there for now. Let's go ahead and craft this guy up, which is here, an end diamond. And we should have the calculator now. Uh, flawless. Please. Yay! Flawless calculator! Uh, does this require power? It does. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. 100,000 RF. Nice. And we should be able to get ender pearls with iron. So let's grab some iron. So we got 6,000 iron. Bloop! Aw, oh, can I not drag that? Oh, I can. Nice ender pearls for days. Very cool. All the end stone that I want. <laughs> nice. So let's go ahead and throw this back over here. Might as well fix some of my garden up. Um, looks like I need this one and this one. End stone, please. Yay. Go away. Nice. All right. So now I should be able to expand this farm out with more in stone. And uh, once I get some more of these uh, ender lilies, I'll be able to plant those. Very, very nice. I'm not sure what to do with this guy, right? Oh, wow. 30,000 RF. Um. What is your buffer? I mean, if this is like the uh, the buffer, um, this holds a lot of power. Can I just not pick you up? That 
is not the right mod. I need one of their wrenches. Well, I think for now it's fine to uh, lose that. It's not like I was going to be able to use it. Since my plan is to move a bunch of stuff out here, I kind of want... Hmm. I might put that guy right there for now. I might uh, do some terraforming later just to uh, make this level. Might make this the, uh, the ground level here. Might be a... Uh, Let's build episode. Oh, that retained its power. Nice. Very, very cool. So we should be able to at least uh, gather some power off of that. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure how I feel about uh, connecting electrical cables from that <laughs> because growing up you have uh, all of the warnings about touching power lines or even uh, telephone lines whenever there's an electrical storm. So that does not sound like it mixes very well. There we go. Oops. Flawless calculator. So I am out of diamonds, right? I have seven left. I want di diamonds. Can I create diamonds? I can with gold. I have over a thousand gold. Let's go ahead and create some diamonds. Oops. Oop. Yay! Diamonds for days! Yay! <laughs> that is cool. So I should be able to uh, start crafting up some more stuff that I didn't have items for, like uh, more solar panels. Let's see, uh, solar panel 6. Yes, please. Alright, what am I missing? Ooh, nether quartz. Diamonds. I can do diamonds. Let's do diamonds. What about nether quartz? Can I get that from a uh, flawless? Do, do, do. No, unfortunately not. Well, that stinks. I might have to uh, get into some mystical agriculture for some of these. That stinks. I guess I'm going to have to uh, go back into the nether for that stuff, but I am glad that I have the ability to create all the diamonds. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about this guy. I wonder if he's automatable. Let's see. Um, this guy over here is a resonator. This didn't require power. Um, I might uh, see if that is automatable before I end it off for today. Crafter. Looks like I have a crafter. Um, Atomic Ugh. calculator. What are the uses for this? Um, fire diamond, sure. Why not? Uh, that is probably going to be in this guy. So, fire diamond. You, just like that, don't have any patterns. Fortunately, I have 30 in here. Okay. I do not know if this will work, but it's worth a shot. Can I rotate with you? Man, I just want a single wrench that will be able to uh, rotate all of these different mods. Um, what about the, uh, the calculator wrench? I wonder if I could use this. Reinforce sword. You? you inside of a calculator gives me a wrench okay that wasn't very expensive what about you of course not <laughs> ah pain in the butt I'm just tired of having to grab everybody's wrench um, that one's to rotate all right let me see there we go you have that pattern so let's see if I request a fire diamond oh flawless diamond duh um, oh, why did I do that recipe first atomic calculator recipes 
Uh, I don't need any more scientific calculators. I guess I can create a flawless diamond. Flawless diamond. Flawless diamond. This guy right here. Yep. Let's see if you're able to create a flawless diamond. Flawless diamond. Um, doesn't look like it. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. That stinks. I was hoping that it would work, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. Oh, well. Doesn't look like that's automatable. I'm um, kind of wondering about RedNet, though, or XNet. Um, might be able to do something with XNet. Depending on if it can see these as inventory slots, I don't know. But that's uh, something that I'll uh, figure out in between episodes. It does look like I need to end it off for today. I might be running a little bit over. Haven't really uh, checked on time. Um, but, um, let's see, 14 minutes? Yeah, I am definitely over time. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to start playing around with the, uh, the Flawless Calculator a little bit more. Um, and uh, different... Machines, ooh, 130,000 RF just by sitting here. Thank you. <laughs> um, but we might come back and play around with uh, some of these other things, like uh, this conductor mast. That seems pretty promising in regards to a uh, power gen. Um, I mean, probably even more if it's raining, which I might get into some of the evil craft because if you remember with evil craft we have those environmental environmental accumulators that basically change the weather um, I'm wondering if it's um, bad weather like lightning will that generate a lot of power like megawatts or 1.21 gigawatts <laughs> Maybe so, but anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you could write and comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you like the series, please hit that subscribe button. But for now, this is goodbye. <laughs>